How's it going everyone? Aaron with Siegfried's Motor Works. Here today, I'm gonna to be taking you out on a test drive on a 50cc two-stroke scooter. I'm gonna be taking you out on this 2016 Genuine Rough House Sport Edition, again, 50cc two-stroke scooter. The reason I have this Rough House parked next to our 2008 Yamaha Zuma 50cc two-stroke is because these scooters share an identical power plant. Two different manufacturers, both running a Minarelli horizontal two-stroke 50cc engine. The Zuma in 2011, they stopped running the two-stroke motor to comply with EPA across their international selling. They had to comply. Genuine picked up the slack and they are still to this day you can go buy a brand new rough house with a two-stroke motor in it but there are a lot of great pre-owned ones available we have one here at Siegfried's Motor Works so again two different scooters two different manufacturers same exact power plant and the power plant is really what makes us at Siegfried's Motor Works love these Zumas and it is why down today we love these genuine rough houses I'm gonna go ahead and fire this one up. Um, excuse this part of the video. The battery in our rough house needs replaced. We haven't done it yet, but that will be replaced before purchase of the scooter. It does have a kickstart, so in case your battery ever would be dead, you are still able to start this one. That's how quick the kickstart. So, go ahead and get this one going. Oh, we're going out the driveway here. A couple quick facts about this one. This is a 2016 Genuine Scooter Company Rough House 50cc Sport Edition scooter. It's a mouthful to say, but. As long as the name is, that's how much value you're getting with this one. A couple of things that Genuine does, they do include a USB charger that is right here in your um, your front leg shield storage compartment. A couple of things that we really like about these Genuines. Real nice carbon fiber back gauge cluster here. I do like how it's split. That's not something you typically see on scooters. So one thing that we do like there, outside of that, very typical operation of everything else here. Um, turn signal goes there, but one of the big name claims of fame with the Rough House scooters are these with the uh, two small modifications to it that can be done by basically anyone. These scooters are the fastest out of the box 50 cc's on the market. And now I did say you do have to do two little modifications. That's just to keep them compliant across the board. Without those modifications done, these scooters will do somewhere in the 30 mile per hour range. With those two modifications done, this Genuine is capable of achieving 45 miles per hour. Stock, no roller modifications, no pipe modifications, no aftermarket parts. 45 miles per hour on a stock 50cc scooter, that's fantastic. You will not find that anywhere else in the 50cc market. All right, so riding this thing down through here, here's a couple of things about the Genuine Rough House that you probably didn't know, and if you're looking for one, you might not be told by your salesman. This floorboard up here is extremely nice for taller riders because you do have that option to put your feet out like this. It may not seem like much, the difference between my left foot and my right foot, but that difference is absolutely humongous. Um, you would not believe it until you own one and you have to ride it for anything more than five or 10 minutes at a shot. That foot seating, that uh, footing position is humongous. Uh, as far as when we're riding this thing down the road here, the Sport Edition does come with a little bit lower seat height, so this I am sitting a little lower than I would on a typical rough house. Uh, you also get the dual piston caliper up in the front, bigger rotor, and also you get 12 inch tires instead of 10 inch tires. Again, this is a bone stock, genuine rough house. We're doing 40 miles per hour. If you watch our ride videos, or even if you check it out our channel, I have a ride video we just did, same day, same weather conditions, on a Yamaha Zuma 50cc two-stroke scooter. 
at this same point in the road I was only caulking just under 40 we're here right now I'm doing somewhere between 43 and 47 miles per hour these things run great uh, as far as these go and value your buck stuff like that there is no better scooter on the market than a genuine scooter company as far as bang for your buck I think these things can be purchased brand new for somewhere in the $2,300 range and again 45 miles per hour of a $2,300 scooter that's great we did have a chance to go through this one almost completely just because we are consigning it and we like to check everything over before we do it this thing is in great shape I'm, I was extremely impressed with the plastic on this I'm extremely impressed with the CVT components on this out of the box and again just the way this thing runs it runs fantastic for a little 49cc two-stroke scooter controls are all the same they're actually half decent nice uh, horn is on and that's the only thing when your battery is extremely low you're not gonna have full power to your horn that'll all be fixed up till you guys get a hold of it Here's a couple of reasons why you want to buy a genuine rough house sport edition over a conventional rough house. You do get that dual 12 inch rim combination over a 10 inch rim. You wouldn't think those two inches in the wheels make a huge difference, but it makes the scooter a lot more stable at speed, gives you a lot better tire option. And in addition to that, if you're going to be doing what most 50cc two stroke owners do and putting a big board kit on this, the braking power that's added with the Sport, in addition to the 12-inch wheels, make this thing a lot more manageable to ride down the road. Uh, the seat height doesn't really honestly do much for me one way or the other. And in addition to that, you also get a remote reservoir rear shock. So, a couple of nice additions with it being a Sport package one. And realistically, if you have any intentions on doing any kind of performance modifications to it, you're going to spend that money anyway doing those things. So, having them come fresh out of the box is great do a little little run out of here now i am full throttle a full warning today is very cold outside so this is a full throttle run just to see how long it takes to get this thing up to it and there we're already at 40 miles per hour which on a 50 cc scooter is what you're typically going to see in uh, little to no time so very impressed with that like I said, from a mechanical standpoint, I'm beyond impressed with this 50cc scooter from Genuine. On a cosmetic standpoint, the Rough House is very reminiscent of the pre-bug Zumas. Kind of a pre-bug and bug-eye Zuma mix mash. So, they're pretty cool scooters. Definitely, the more you stare at them, the more you like them. As far as handling goes, I mean, this thing goes in the turns. I mean, I'm full throttle. You don't have to let out of this thing at all. I mean, it just takes whatever you're throwing at and goes anywhere you want. The Rough House is also set up to be a little bit more trail oriented. So if you do have any kind of uh, off-road adventure, off adventure in mind, the Rough House will take you there and it'll do the job and you just fine doing it. Now as far as performance, again, here we are. We're doing almost 50 miles per hour right now on a bone stock ruckus. These scooters can very easily achieve 65 plus miles per hour. Now we're dealing with performance here. I mean, this is climbing a small grade. Typically on a 40cc scooter, you see a lot of back off here. I'm holding 40 miles per hour just fine. Typically on your four stroke scooters, I'm somewhere down in the 30 mile per hour range. And on other stock two stroke scooters, you're gonna see that drop down in the 35, uh, just below 40 mile per hour range. This one held 40 miles per hour up that hill just fine. So very impressed with that as well. Now when it comes to aftermarket parts for these genuines, Prima is a company that Genuine works with very closely, as well as some stuff from NCY, but there is a lot of aftermarket available for Genuine's Rough House and their buddy lines of scooters. As far as going ahead and getting into like real over-the-top performance, with a couple hundred dollars, this scooter easily achieves 65 miles per hour. Um, with even a little bit more money than that, it's nothing to see these things go closer to the 70 mile per hour range. One thing I would tell you without ahead of time is, the sport version is more preferred when you're gonna be doing higher speeds like that because of that 12 inch wheel. Uh, it just makes everything a lot nicer and safer to rod. But this is again, this is a stock exhaust. That's one thing I do like about the Genuine. The stock exhaust does have a little more tone to it. Even the Zumas, when they were the two stroke stock, they, they had a little more tone than a four stroke, but it was nothing crazy where this one actually has a really nice tone to it. So very impressed with these. Stopping power wise on the Sport Edition with that thing. I mean, this thing will stop on a dime. 
Very, very, very happy with these scooters. I'm just gonna hop off here real quick and show you a couple things. Center stand and side stand. There's that remote reservoir shock I was talking about. Nice little rear grab bar. These are a two-up scooter, so that you uh, you can take your buddy wherever you guys want to go. This one is available at smwx717.com. Very nice scooter. We're very happy with it. We think whoever decides to put this thing in their driveway is also going to be very happy with it. But at any rate, if you just went for a ride with me and you made it this far, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this genuine scooter company, Rough House 50cc Sport. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.